let's go to first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 to the left is the King James Version to the right is the expanded Bible in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you so is this saying only give thanks to God when or if things go your way or if you get blessed I don't think so are you the type of person that will complain so much or somehow place yourself in depression based upon what happens to you in life are you that type of person like if things don't go your way are you the type of person that will contemplate and contemplate and contemplate on negative thoughts to where it may depress you or make you feel worse are you that type of person let me say this maybe two years ago or something like that something happened to me and in the beginning I was afraid I was very depressed I was angry like I believe so many emotions perhaps toward I guess the middle towards the middle <laughs> to end I guess I believe I noticed I guess I believe I noticed parts and pieces of why I was going through what I was going through okay that situation is over and I believe I went through that situation to better myself I believe I had to go through that situation to to either develop or increase more in certain qualities okay for instance like more patience being more humble so on and so on okay let me ask you this as you are now are you where you need to be in God or is it possible for you to increase in good attributes okay and listen to this I believe God knows everything I believe God knows us better than we know ourselves 
So I believe we should thank God for the good and the bad. Because perhaps the bad that is happening to you may make you a better person. For instance, myself. If I complain so much or contemplate on negative thoughts so much, I believe doing those things will make me feel worse. So if those things will make you feel worse, stop it. Or, I mean, if those things will make you feel worse, don't do it. Try to contemplate on positive things. Well, Kevin, I can't control my thoughts. Okay. Let me say this for an, an example. Think of a very nasty thought. Or think about a very bad thought. Okay. How long would you contemplate? And I am not trying to be gross or anything like that. How long would you contemplate on being married to your mom? Think about that. Like, would you purposely, hey, I am going to think about marriage. I mean, I will think about getting married to my mom. How long would you think about that? I believe for many, you would think about something else quickly, right? So if you can stop or not think about that, I believe that proves that you have control over your thoughts. I believe demons can play around with our thoughts. Let me, should I go into that? When you are living for God, we have authority over demons. So let me get back to my point try to give thanks even let me say this even if you are crying even if you are feeling so hurt give God thanks and you may believe Kevin what is the use of that listen now if the Bible say to do it there is a purpose to it. I believe if we begin to do or to do more of what the Bible says, I believe our life will change to the, to the better. Let me say this too. What if God is allowing bad things to happen to you? Okay. How bad will it look for you to be complaining, saying negative things? So, listen, I don't think it is bad to pray to God and tell him what is going on. What I am speaking of, a person that is complaining, 
very bad attitude, perhaps being bitter, so on and so on. No. Give thanks to God. And I am not saying that I do everything right or say everything right all day, every day. I am not saying that. But let's practice in doing what is right. Let me stop here. God bless you.